Hey folks, this is Cliff from Aptronica, and I wanted to make a quick video to show you something uh, a little different I'm working on today. Um, so, for users of Lightroom by Adobe, uh, which is uh, kind of a popular uh, photography app, um, there's uh, there's this new um, app for both uh, Windows and Mac that allows you to um, control Lightroom using a MIDI controller, uh, which is kind of cool, um, if, especially if you like if you want more of a kind of a tactile experience uh, or a little bit finer control than than maybe you can uh, muster with a mouse. So. Um, so this is free uh, and it's open source um, and it's available from the gouger.github.io uh, slash midi2lr and midi2lr, uh, midi2lrm is the name of it. So, um, so what uh, since since I'm uh, you know spending a lot of time doing stuff with MIDI Designer, I thought it'd be cool. Uh, to maybe set up a a uh, uh, a controller in MIDI Designer, which basically uh, gives you kind of a remote uh, touch base uh, controller for free. Um, so what I've got here is I'm using uh, I've downloaded MIDI to, uh, MIDI Two LR uh, and you know using the instructions here on the page, uh, pretty simple, straightforward. Um, and then what I'm using on my iPad is uh, Music IO. Uh, for MIDI, which is the free ver free version of Music I/O, and MIDI Designer 12, which is the free version of MIDI Designer Pro, um, and uh, so I've I've installed this so that it, it works as a plugin within Lightroom, uh, and so uh, you can see when you install and uh, run uh, MIDI 2LR, uh, you'll see a little uh, interface that looks like this. So first of all, um, this is my layout that I've created, and uh, this is available uh, for uh, for free uh, within the community community shares on on uh, the MIDI Designer site. Um, and since this has less than twelve controls, it'll work with the free version of uh, MIDI Designer Pro. Uh, or you know, if you wanted to add more controls, then then you could use MIDI Designer Pro. Uh, which is available from the App Store. Um, so, so I've got this uh, running in. This is running in MIDI Designer 12, and then I've also got Music I/O MIDI running. And so, with that running, and with the server uh, component of Music I/O running on the desktop, you can see I'm connected. So that means I'm sending MIDI uh, from. MIDI Designer uh, 12 to uh, to my Mac, and if you uh, simply move a control on your controller, you'll see that the uh, MIDI uh, MIDI 2 LR uh, app will recognize the incoming control. And then you could map these to anything you want. So uh, you'll see the list of, of kind of the, the functions within uh, within Lightroom that you could uh, you could map to. Now what I've done for uh, for this this layout is I've just taken these basic uh, features and I've mapped them and, and you know named them uh, on the controls here. So, what we're going to do is the uh, same thing you would do if you if you download um, this free layout. Is you're just going to load and um, that'll pop up a uh, you know little load profile here, and then you just go and find your mapping file and load it. And now you can see that it's a, it's. Uh, Gone ahead and assigned those controllers to to each of the individual uh, functions in in the basic uh, menu there. So now let me open up Lightroom. Surprise! Um, and you'll see we've got our controls over here, 
And as you can see, altering controls on MIDI Designer will automatically change the associated controls in Lightroom, which is pretty cool. Um, one thing about this uh, MIDI 2 LR is it has what's, uh, it, it operates with what's called a catch-up uh, functionality. So what that means is uh, if you're used to using MIDI controllers and, you know, sometimes you'll get a jump, uh, in values when you when you first touch a controller if it's not if the current value is not close to the value on the slider then then it'll jump to that value well what uh, what's pretty cool about this plugin is that it won't actually change any values until the controller value the incoming controller value gets to the same position as the existing value in the app so you can see I can move this all around over here but as it, when it hits the center, then it picks up and starts making a change. So I don't have to worry about any abrupt changes, uh, which makes this uh, really cool. Now, if you didn't know about that, uh, you might be like, okay, well, what's, it's not doing anything. It's not responding. But it, uh, once it catches up in the same position, then you can see that... Uh, it will actually make changes in Lightroom. So anyway, this is all available for free for download uh, from the MIDI Designer Community Shares. Uh, and uh, I'll probably be working on a, on a more complex version that, uh, that'll have multiple pages and have all the controls. But for now, this, uh, this, this layout will work with the free versions. Uh, uh, like I said, Music.io for MIDI, and uh, which uh, looks like this and MIDI Designer 12, which is free. Uh, thanks. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, let me know if you get any good use out of this. Thanks.